Only one of the pictures you can see on the internet about human mutations is included here. And it was often to minimize its impact. In any case, it is perhaps the least cruel, and its presence was necessary to illustrate a fact. That nuclear flaws, including small incidents, can produce effects that make them essentially different from any other type of accident. In any tragedy, consequences remain limited to what happened. Ionizing radiations, instead, affect the genetic structure of living beings, and its consequences for humans and the environment are unpredictable. So the simple inventory of initial victims in a nuclear accident is absolutely irrelevant. Chernobyl Only two plant workers died that night as a direct result of the explosion, and about other 30 in the following days. For those first victims the problems ended. But for the survivors they were just starting. Ionizing radiation continued to work and is still working now. So, the effects on population were tragic. Let's see a press release from the World Health Organization. It refers to a landmark publication issued at the 20th anniversary of the Chernobyl disaster. WHO estimated 9,000 extra cancer deaths among those most directly related. 116,000 people were evacuated initially and then another 230,000. More than 5 million people live in areas still contaminated, many of them with unexplained symptoms. WHO recommended various programs to improve population health. In short, according to this report by the World Health Organization, some of the consequences attributable to the accident included about 9,000 cancer deaths and 350,000 displaced. Also, 5 million continue exposed to contamination. The effects of the mutations are worse and not limited to the generation that experienced the problem. More than 25 years have passed, and those effects relentlessly go on acting. Now, we'll avoid showing other human images, to see some effects of ionizing radiation on animal genetics. An eight-legged mutant was called the Gorbachev cult, embalmed and preserved by a member of the Ukrainian Academy of Sciences. In contaminated areas thousands of animals are born deformed. Initially, part of the livestock in the area was brought to Russia, but the animals were so polluted that they were slaughtered and buried. Statistical studies were made in the zone showing that biodiversity is waning. Mammals are declining in the zone. According to a recent research, it was found that the size of the brains of birds decreased in the region. Those effects, most threatening for evolution, were studied in Ukraine. The research team noted that low-dose radiation can have significant effects on normal brain development as reflected by brain size and therefore potentially cognitive ability. Then, is there any reason why our species would be spared such type of consequences? Fukushima It's been little time to make a balance of the environmental consequences of the Fukushima disaster. Ionizing radiation also acts in Japan, and will go on steadily working. Not yet is known the state of the reactor cores, much less the current and future consequences of the disaster on the island territory in the Pacific. What is known, are the first studies of the mutations, they were made on species whose generations are renewed much faster than those of mammals. On August 2012, a note from the BBC made reference to a scientific report that appeared on Nature magazine. The research was made in the Ryukyus University, Okinawa. The report said, we conclude that artificial radionuclides, from the Fukushima nuclear power plant, caused physiologic and genetic damage to the species. The pictures show a normal specimen of the species tested, and, a specimen affected by ionizing radiation. Why humanity sought to solve their energy requirements with a system that can produce so dangerous effects? The reason, as explained in other videos of this channel, is that nuclear power arose not from the efforts to get energy for human development. On the contrary, it was a byproduct of a form of human destruction, the atomic bomb. We recall it, in the second part of this report. How these problems started. 
nuclear fission was developed to have uncontrollable consequences, so they were in Hiroshima, and so are still in the world, when fission plants are used. Manufacturing wastes from early bombs and nuclear plants remain poorly stored in Hanford, Washington, USA. Not only there, radioactive wastes continue to accumulate around the world. Solutions for their final disposition are being sought after since 1951 or before. As was said, nuclear fission was developed to have uncontrollable consequences. In practice they still are, even in the peaceful applications. Not only massive doses of radiation are harmful, so are low doses, as from waste or spills. A nuclear fission plant with perfect safety, what does not exist, would have an incalculable cost. It is regrettable that nuclear fusion plants had not yet been developed instead. There is a possible explanation, a nuclear fission plant is not a nuclear bomb, but the technology can be used for military purposes. A tokamak-type nuclear fusion plant is also not a nuclear bomb. And unlike fission, its technology cannot be used for weapon design. Experts suggest that for this reason it has not been developed, although their contamination levels would be much lower. Fortunately, renewable energies are expanding in the market on its own sake. In that way, humanity will not have to go on playing with the uncontrollable.